When I was a child, my grandmother used to bring me over here and we would go to the Chinese Opera Theater on Clay Street and we would sit there for six hours and listen. For me, it was a wonderful thing to see the opera performances. What it offered me was this look into how you communicate. It encouraged me uh, always to be empathetic to other forms of art. I look at art as a voice. I look at the Culture Center as a safe place for the voice to speak out. It welcomes it, it nurtures it. I am a great supporter and I really appreciate the programs that are being presented and the ones they're trying to do. You've asked about what is very important to me about the center is it's now about what the place is for the people who are here now and how they look at how they're making the history here. What do I love about supporting the arts? It expands your horizons. Being the typical Asian American, I was strong in math, so strong in science, but as I grew older, I realized that I was very limited because of that. To be able to see and support these people, to be able to expand those endeavors and skill levels, that's where the support comes from. For me, my dream for the center is that it is not about this place, that it is out there in the community, if at all possible, movement out into the Bay Area. Well, I think we're both deeply honored to receive the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Chinese Culture Foundation. I look at this as a great honor for Richard and I, but I really want to give the shout out to all those people who really helped us in this. And so for me, it's remembering all those people who worked with me. My goodness, the last 25 years here. <laughs>